Well, I have a little bit of an interesting uh, possible health tip here, possibly. I don't know. It's a theory. It's a theory. Uh, you know, like a lot of people who smoke a lot of marijuana, they seem to have like a memory loss after a long period of time of uh, a lot of smoking of marijuana. And since, you know, smoking marijuana is actually starting to be in vogue now for, um, you know, pain relief and for medical use. Now, it's my contention that you could probably be better off using the marijuana oil, which is uh, touted to be uh, highly effective against cancer, of course. But uh, this is something uh, kind of interesting because uh, it's possibly, possibly, I'm not sure, it's a theory, but uh, it may be something that can help with people who smoke a lot of marijuana re still retain the good memory function, too, at the same time. I don't know, but... It's something. Uh, it's basically, it was a study in journal cell. They said they found, you know, the problem where the molecular pathways that were blocked by um, <clears throat> marijuana smoking, right? That caused the marijuana, the uh, memory-induced problems. And it turns out, like, you know, um, like they used some, there was actually research by, they used for mice, on mice, and it says they researchers they were surprised to find that THC increased the levels of an enzyme called uh, COX-2 in hippocampus. So in other words, that basically is the learning center and it interconnects with other parts of the brain. The COX-2 increase in the brain cell seems to turn down memory making abilities by decreasing the cell's ability to make connections with other brain cells, right? So, but the thing is, there's a way to stop this from happening, basically, so people would still have that marijuana high, whatever the hell it is, and they could still have possibly not the harmful effects from, you know, taking too much marijuana over a long period of time. So by stopping the activation of COX2, they said they could restore the brain cells' ability to connect with other brain cells. So you know what stops that activity, because what you use that all the time is in pain relief, stuff like this, uh, ibuprofen. Now this is just the Equate brand, but you know, it's in other words known as Advil, too. So a lot of times pain relievers like that, um, that stop pain in the brain, you know, in the, in the head, are actually could possibly um, thwart the problem where the long-term use of smoking a lot of marijuana blocks, you know, the learning centers from interconnecting with other parts of the brain. Now it's a theory, but it's an interesting theory because you know it seems to be based upon you know some fairly good science and good research and. You know, the safety of taking like one of these once in a while, if you're smoking weed or something like that, uh, would probably, you know, I mean, it's not going to hurt you, obviously. I mean, to take one Advil here and there and stuff like that. But would that actually help to uh, retain the learning centers where there's not being blocked from interconnecting with other parts of the brain? It's a possibility. So, you know, I figured I'd push, put out this tip because... Uh, I think that's one of the big drawbacks with marijuana use over a long period of time. Like I don't smoke it, so I'm not. A, but I'm not a, a person that knocks it or anything, you know. But the one of the big drawbacks is some people that smoke it a lot over a long period of time. They seem to lose, you know, ambition or you know their memories aren't as good. You know, they're, they seem to like be a little bit more toned down than they should be maybe in some ways but you know possibly the reason is because of the uh, blocking of the learning center from interconnecting with other parts of the brain and it looks like from this preliminary research it's it's preliminary research it's not guaranteed to work so I don't know if it's gonna work for sure but you know it's not something that's unsafe to take uh, it looks like from these preliminary research, like, like a pain relief pill, like ibuprofen or you know Advil or something like that, that blocks the pain that you feel when you have a headache, can help. Um, it looks like it could help uh, stop some of this problem where you have this loss of uh, memory uh, retention by smoking too much marijuana over a period of time. So. You know, it may be good, it sounds good on theory, so, you know, I figured I'd pass on this tip, because I think that's a cool thing, because, you know, that's the real, real drawback, I think, 
of you know smoking marijuana over a long period of time. People, um, you know, it depends on how much they do it. But if they do it a real, real lot all the time, you know, I don't know if this would work. You know, I wish they could test a theory and say it works for sure, but it looks like the research is indicating that. So, uh, you know, and I'll point to this link about from the journal cell, but it's kind of a technical article, but you got to piece through, you got to piece together a couple different things to actually come up with the conclusion that, you know, taking something like this, ibuprofen or Advil or something like that, could possibly not cause that problem that happened where the learning center of the brain is not is being stopped from interconnecting with other parts of the brain. It's a theory, but it looks like that's something they're looking into. Scientists think they could be used as a preventive prevention for the unwanted side effects of medical marijuana use. And you know what I have to say about this is like, you know, if you want to try this you know, if you're somebody who's like an, a non-medical marijuana user, if you want to try this, maybe taking one of these when you smoke weed, is that guaranteed not to have the bad effects of, you know, whatever, losing memory or anything like that over the long period of time? I don't know for sure, but um, the, uh, the theory looks promising. So I should pass on that tip, I think, because uh, I don't think too many people know about that. And, you know, that's that's one of the major, major drawbacks of a lot of smoking a lot of marijuana is that, uh, you know, if you do a lot of it, uh, you will actually lose some of your memory retention after a period of time and things like that because it's uh, the THC is basically blocking some areas. And it seems like this helps to uh, stop that problem. So, who knows?